In this video, we will reveal to you the exact equation of your saw. What if I told you that you had a saw, but that it was a completely mathematical object, and it didn't have anything to do with mainstream religious bullshit or mystical nonsense, but instead was rationally governed by a perfect mathematical equation? You see, the universe is mathematical. All existent things are based on logic and reason, and that applies to everything. Your soul has nothing to do with faith or an external God. We are completely opposed to these irrational and dangerous concepts. Instead, it has everything to do with reason, logic, and mathematics. Let's clear up what the word soul means, because that word comes with so much baggage. In a philosophical sense, the soul and your mind are the same thing. The great philosopher Hegel used the word Geist, and this word means both mind and spirit. So when we say soul, don't think of some airy-fairy religious concept, but instead think of it as the part of you that allows you to experience reality. It's your subjectivity. It's your mind. The philosopher Plato said, the soul peers through the prison bars of your body. This is just like your mind peering through the eyes of your body. In a rational reality, there is no room for faith, miracles, or a creator God. Everything must be rigorously defined by mathematics. Your eternal mind, your soul, is governed by the soul equation, and that equation is e to the i x equals cosine x plus i sine x. This is the ultimate eternal equation that governs your soul and existence itself. This equation is called the Euler's formula. Here is what it looks like graphed onto a complex plane. It's a perfect circle. The physicist Richard Feynman called this equation our jewel and the most remarkable almost astounding formulas in all of mathematics. When the equation is evaluated at pi, the mathematician Benjamin Pierce said, Gentlemen, that is surely true. It is absolutely paradoxical. We cannot understand it, and we don't know what it means, but we have proved it, and therefore we know it is the truth. This equation which has been known as Euler's formula, has been staring the people of this world in the face for hundreds of years, and yet they have been unable to understand its meaning. We are here to show you that this equation, the soul equation, is the answer to existence itself. Now let's take a look at exactly what it means. Everything in reality is based on waves. Matter is just an illusion. Quantum mechanics shows this clearly. Einstein said, Concerning matter, we have all been wrong. What we have called matter is energy, whose vibration has been so lowered as to be perceptible to the senses. There is no matter. According to quantum mechanics, everything is described by a wave function, even you and I. So, for example, you wouldn't refer to an elephant, but instead to the elephant wave function. All matter is an illusion. All that exists are waves, frequency, vibration, energy. This all refers to the exact same concept. By Fourier mathematics, any wave, no matter how complicated it is, can be expressed as a combination of simple waves, of sines and cosines. All this means is that you can build something complicated out of something simple. Like you can build a house out of bricks. The house is complicated, the bricks are simple, but the house is made up of the bricks. Now stay with me here, because this is extremely important and the answer to everything. To reveal, reality is composed of nothing but waves. That's it, waves and only waves. By Fourier mathematics, any wave, no matter how complicated, is made up of simple waves called sines and cosines. This means that reality is made up of nothing but sines and cosines and their interactions. That's it. Now take a look at the soul equation. 
e to the i x equals cosine x plus i sine x. The Sol equation generates a perfect sine and cosine wave, which are the building blocks of existence. This eternal equation generates a perfect circle, and it describes a point traveling in a perfect circular trajectory, and as it does so, it generates a sine and cosine wave. Now your Sol is an infinite number of these points, so instead of just one point, Imagine an infinity of points, all following a circular trajectory and generating an infinity of sine and cosine waves. Every soul in existence is doing this, and as they do so, their energy contents, their sine and cosines, are interacting and combining according to the laws of Fourier mathematics to create infinitely complex waveforms that give rise to reality itself. This equation, the generator of sines and cosines, is all you need to create the universe, and it is the equation of your soul, your mind. The entirety of the universe is literally made up of the energy contents of your soul interacting with every other soul in existence. Furthermore, when every point on the circle that the soul equation traces out is actualized, the net result is zero. What this means is that every soul contains an infinite amount of energy whose net result is zero. Every mind is both an infinity and a zero. Zero is a container for infinite energy. That is why existence is possible, because every soul, every mind, which is what reality is composed of, results in the total energy of zero. Existence is possible because it requires nothing. It is defined by zero. Souls, minds, are in perpetual motion that require nothing to exist because their net result is zero. Reality is defined by zero, by nothingness. It cannot be defined by anything else because if it was, it would need something to get it started, to get it going. Zero is perfect balance, it is eternal, and it needs nothing because it is nothing. The only thing that can exist is nothingness. Reality is structured nothingness, organized void. Some of the ancients on this planet have gotten close to this concept, but they have disastrously used stories instead of precise mathematics, which has resulted in confusion, misunderstanding, death, and chaos which is why we are completely opposed to mainstream religion. These ill-defined stories must be ditched. Reality can only be understood through logic and reason and mathematics. It is what allows us to grow together in understanding and freedom. Your immaterial mind, your soul, exists outside of space-time in the immaterial domain of pure mind. This is known as the Fourier frequency domain. It is the zeroth dimension. It is dimensionless. But the interactions of these sine and cosine waves give rise to the material world of space-time. All of matter is composed of the wave combinations of all the minds in existence. But these minds, these souls, exist outside of space-time, within the mental frequency singularity. Material bodies are complicated wave structures that are generated by these sine and cosine combinations. Your mind, your soul, which exists outside of space-time, can link to a physical body in order to interact in the domain of space-time. You are not a body, you are a mind that links to a body. Your physical senses perform an inverse Fourier transform which translates pure frequency information into its space-time representation. The pure frequency of the immaterial domain is translated and filtered through your senses by an inverse Fourier transform into its space-time representation, and this is what allows you to experience and interact in the physical domain. The immaterial frequency domain 
is not fundamentally different and separate from the physical domain. Instead, it's just looking at it from a different perspective, a subjectively filtered perspective. They're two sides of the same coin. The frequency domain gives rise to the space-time domain. You can't have a material domain without the immaterial domain. You can see this clearly in the Fourier transform, which is nothing but an infinite integration, a summing together of the soul equation. Your soul exists within the immaterial domain, the domain of pure frequency, of mind. This domain is outside of space-time and outside of the detection by the physical senses. Scientific materialism is obsessed with sense data. The dimensionless domain outside of space-time is beyond their reach. They cling to a dogmatic belief in their flawed senses and illogically deny this domain of mind even though it can be proven to exist mathematically. You live in a mathematical reality, not a reality of the senses. That is an illusion. The true nature of reality has been hidden from you by the rulers of this world, the rich elite, so that you will be easy to control. It's time you begin to realize what you are, where you are, and why you are here. We have shown you the equation of your soul, Euler's formula. The mathematician Keith Devlin said, Like a Shakespearean sonnet that captures the very essence of love, or a painting that brings out the beauty of the human form that is far more than just skin deep. Euler's equation reaches down into the very depths of existence. You are an eternal soul, a mind, and you don't need faith, you don't need crazy religious nonsense, and you don't need some god in the sky. We reject all of these irrational concepts, all you need is the perfect, infallible, and rational laws of mathematics. Once you begin to understand these laws, a whole new world will be revealed before you. You are so much more than what this world tells you, and you are more powerful than you can imagine. Ad Astra, to the stars. Make sure you like and subscribe now, and check out my Patreon for many exclusive videos. So at the very end of one cosmic cycle, the universe in that iteration ends, and a new one begins. In, a, in mathematical terms, refers to the energy contents, the sine and cosine waves going out of phase. I'd like to say thank you to everyone there on my Patreon because it's your support that lets me make these videos and to show humanity these hidden mathematical truths. Let's change the world, my friends. Thank you for your support.